Hello everyone, it's Kavita from Rado Yoga. Thank you for joining me for the mini sutra series online. Today I wanted to talk to you about why you people please. Now, everyone, everyone is driven to people please. Some of us more than others, but every single one of us are driven to people please. There's a biological imperative for this. You see, when you're born, you as a baby, require people to love you in order for you to survive. You see, newborns who are not held will die. And newborns who are obviously not fed will die. And so with that in mind, we are biologically wired that when we come into this world, we look to these bigger people who seem to run the world, and we understand biologically that we must please them in order for them to pick us up and hold us so we will survive and in order for them to choose to feed us okay so they need to love us enough so we need to please them so that they'll love us and that way we will survive this is as it should be but then as we start growing up we are to learn that we can start standing more clearly on our own two feet that while our life is easier and our survival chances are actually better, usually with others, we are to learn that we do not need others to survive in that way. But we don't. We grow up with the framework that we still need to keep making others happy in order for us to survive. That's why when somebody is upset with you, you have this outer proportion response where there's a part of you that genuinely believes that you are going to die if they are unhappy with you, if they don't love you. And that's because as you were growing up, you didn't unlearn the mechanism, the, the, unlearn the truth of the mechanism, I should say. Because here's the thing, the mechanism is hardwired in there, which means you're going to be 96 years old and it'll still be there. You will still feel that impetus, that, that little drive to please others. But you need to understand, as you are getting into adulthood, or you are in adulthood, you need to start to understand that you do not need to please others. Not in the way that you did when you were a baby. And while you may prefer others to be happy with you, while you may prefer others to love you, it is not a necessity to your basic survival. You have skills. You have resources. You have abilities and power that you did not have when you were a baby. And that changes everything. If you realize this, it will allow you to live in a more authentic way. It will allow you to unhook from that drive to please others above and beyond all everything else. Okay? And this is important. So I was, I was teaching this recently to my mentees in a, the mentorship group that I run on the Masterful Path. And a, a student actually asked, so if you're saying, you know, when we're 96 years old, this is still going to happen, that we can't get rid of this, this mechanism, they said, is there anything we can do? And as I said, what you can do, what you need to do, is to consciously recognize the power and resources and abilities that you have and realize how that differentiates you now from when you were a baby. That it may be your desire for others to love you and be happy with you, but it is no longer a necessity. Okay? All right, everyone. I hope that was helpful. It's my pleasure being here with you guys every week. If you've got questions, you've got comments, please put them in the comment section below. I do read what you write. Um, and I look forward to being here with you every week. I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Namaste.